Hi all, hello and good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet with me Varun Rao and in this session as you are already able to see it we would be looking at the difference between SAP HANA and SAP Fiori. Now there is a lot of developers out there who uh, are interested to move or to learn something new and to advance themselves technically. Now for all those people there is a solid confusion after ABAP or after working for S4 HANA or after any latest or any module now they want to shift and do in, in this process there is a whole lot of confusion in the market as to what is UI5 what is HANA and which one is best suitable for them so in this video let us just try to understand what is SAP UI5 and what is HANA so that it becomes a bit easy to make a choice and to go ahead with whatever you feel like so talking about SAP UI5, it's basically a JavaScript application framework which is designed to build cross-platform and is also responsive and is an enterprise ready software package where you have applications which are ready to be used. It is also an open source project which is maintained by SAP SE and is available under Apache 2.0 license and is also open to contributions which means that when you as a third party or even you as a person can go ahead and give your valuable contributions to them if in case you have anything new that's up with you and Fiori literally means a flower now there is also confusion between UI5 and Fiori now UI5 is completely development of an application right from the scratch wherein every piece of code is given by you it's it's your gift to the application the application is your hard work but when you talk of fury fury is a set of standard applications now the set is almost 10000 huge you have 10000 different applications for different purposes which can fulfill different functionalities now there are applications also into analytical applications also into fact sheets and also transactional based applications in sap ui5 Alright, but then when you're talking of Fiori on the other hand, as we were discussing, there are 10,000 plus applications and you just have to understand the technical features of them if it is suitable for your environment or not and I think you're ready to go. So that is how easy a Fiori application is to use if you know how to kind of configure them and use them. So this is what is SAP UI5 or Fiori. Now when you talk of SAP HANA on the other hand, it is an in-memory, alright and you know it is column oriented and it also has a relational database management system and this is also completely developed and marketed and launched by SAP now the primary function of SAP HANA is to act as a database server and the main reason why it is so successful is because of its capacity to store and retrieve data as requested by applications now the catch here is the speed is awesome the speed is just it cannot be explained it is almost down to micro and nanoseconds also i think and sap has claimed this to be the fastest in the world and if sap has claimed i'm pretty sure that this must not be just like that and they also say that they have increased their speed eight fold times now eight fold is a huge number when you actually look at it in terms of time and seconds and minutes it's eight times eight folds is huge so that's the reason why sap hana has really made it into the market and it's getting successful day by day we see a lot of customers or organizations or companies and firms moving towards sap hana for its credibility for its reliability and its speed now when you compare both of them basically to take them in one shot sap hana is firstly HANA is abbreviated as a high performance analytical appliance and it uses in-memory database technology wherein it processes massive amounts of data as I've just said the, the, the volume of data is huge and this data is processed on, on real-time basis in a very short span of time and the in-memory computing engine it also allows HANA to process data which is stored in RAM as opposed to you know how it was earlier and or, or you know how it was earlier when it used to read from the disk so this is what is HANA basically so in order to make it short and sweet and just to complete in one sentence HANA is your database and it's a very powerful database but then when you talk of SAP UI5 
this is a collection of libraries all right it's a collection of libraries which are used by developers to build applications which are suitable for desktops mobiles tablets or any any interface right now basically sap user interface that we use is according to the norms or standards of html5 which is the latest version and with you know their their javascript you know the sap ui5 having their own javascript toolkit the developers uh, can also build sap applications using html5 web application development standards so that is what i was just saying a while back so hana is to give you a faster database while sap ui5 is to provide a user interface so they are two different things used for two different purposes sap ui5 is basically for the end user hana though the end user would definitely gain out of it but it's more over an inter organizational kind of a thing wherein the organization would benefit the most all right now when you look at the architecture of it this is how the hana platform looks like you have a lot of things which are involved into it like hadoop you have uh, machine learning you have unstructured data you have mining you have i mean the mining as in the data mining you have data sciences or now this is segregated into different layers you have a web server layer followed by a scripting layer then you have the search layer followed by the integration layer and then you have the other applications where they come into picture and they make it more powerful and it can be used for normal applications you talk of cloud applications hana has the capability to unleash analytics which is not possible with a regular ecc excel you talk of iot which is internet of things and then you can talk of mobile or web interface and then you have api so basically hana is a one stop solution for most of the problems but then if you want an interface to be built on top of this then this is where you'll have to look at that is the architecture of sap ui5 fury now when you talk of ui5 fury this is also compartmentalized and the upper section or the upper cut of it is basically for desktop tablets and smartphones which is you know the application interface but then when you talk of its back end you have an o data layer or an o data back end which which acts as a server which is connected through https which is a secure transfer protocol and you also have a bap which acts as a back back end repository so your data is fetched from a bap it's consumed by or it is you know it's modified by o data accordingly and then it hits your front end interface all right and this would require a bit of configuration you have a model provider in your back end which is connected by an rfc to your front end and then you have business application layer and you know the content of your business is customized accordingly and then they are given the right authorization which would then surpass your raw data service proxy and they would again you know pass through the https protocol and your data is displayed in the front end so this is the process which happens behind the architecture of fury vis-a-vis -vis the architecture of hana so that is the main difference between them even if you're talking of both of these modules architecturally or even if you're talking of both of these modules technically so these are some things that you'll have to understand before you get into being a developer now if you if you want to make it more explainable then if you want to ask about uh, things like the coding the content of coding then yes coding is almost involved in both of them because there you would be coding on an sql interface or probably javascript interface i think you're already able to see that here you have javascript sql script and you have an sql all these would run together and they would make them may make the hana or the hana platform more powerful so when you talk of coding it is equally involved be it hana or be it the ui5 so that is the reason why they become development platforms and finally the design of sap hana it allows to you know boost the speed of it tremendously both be it olap or oltp applications that's online analytical or online transactional hana can also do real time analytics we we've already seen that crunching data nearly instantaneously which allows the business to react more quickly to changing conditions and it is also a backend which runs the sap landscape its central feature is an innovative column based relational database which is rdbms which is used to store retrieve and process data on core business activities on the other hand ui5 is basically a development toolkit 
which is provided for developers with a set of predefined JavaScript libraries which can be consumed to design a new user interface. And it's mainly developed for SAP Mobility, which means Fiori. And UI5 is a framework which is based on MVC pattern, which is model view controller. And by using this framework, the developers can easily build any web application. All right. And there is a shell which the Fiori Launchpad uses to host all the Fiori applications, which provide the application with service services, be it uh, navigation or personalization of your screen or embedded support wherein you can use Cordova applications and and also the application configuration which is required for it to just launch all right and if you are wondering what a fury launchpad is then it is the entry point to access your fury apps it's just like an interface which connects you to a larger interface all right or it's like a gate which connects you to n number of applications used by the organization all right so fury launchpad is an entry point to the Fiori applications, be it on mobile or desktop or laptop or wherever you're using them. So these are the points or differences that you have to understand between HANA and UI5 before you make a choice. So I hope you've understood and I hope it's been of some use to you and you've learned something new. Do stay subscribed to this channel Tech Tablet Daily Dose for a lot of videos yet to be exchanged between us and a lot of knowledge yet to be shared. Thanks a lot. I hope you make a wise choice and a great decision and you have a tremendous and a bright future ahead thanks a lot for watching you have a great day there